Hey folks, how are you all doing? Uh, today I want to show you one fragrance I've been meaning to do for a very long time. I had this fragrance for I think more than five, six months or something with me and I always somehow didn't do the review. So as you can see, this is from the house of uh, Yup, Yup, <laughs> Jup, however you said, I say Yup. So Yup, Yup, this is Jump from the house of Yup, all right, with an exclamation mark. So this fragrance, all right, is my third fragrance uh, from the house of Yop. Uh, I used to initially have this one, Yopom, the original bomb, pink, juice, beautiful juice. Definitely doesn't have that sort of, uh, people say it's got re it got reformulated, doesn't have that sort of performance, but I do get beast mode. And this is very love it or hate it, very dangerous fragrance. It, this is not everybody's cup of tea, right? So many people turn to shy away from this house after smelling this fragrance because they think every other fragrance from this house is gonna be this kind of, um, you know, <laughs> funny. <laughs> so another fragrance I have, this was my last one from the house of Yop. I wanted to get one more, but I haven't got it for some reason. So this was my last one. The third one is Yop Go. So somewhere in between the two, I obtained this. I don't have the box to show with, uh, sh with me to show today because as you know, box is down there because I took out all the boxes and kept them in a the store. Uh, so I'll tell you everything about this fragrance, all right? and uh, show you the bottle presentation and I'll tell you what it smells like and what it reminds me of, what is it good for. Um, but uh, let me tell you one thing before I start the review. This house, you know, your, as I told you, your Om, right? The pink juice, this one. Don't judge every other fragrance from this house based, based on this, even if you don't like it. This is a winter fragrance. This is a revolutionary fragrance, you know? This used to be much darker, the juice, all right? Much more like this color before, but it got like uh, reformulated but still very sweet so and it, it, it's it's serious like it, it heads only toward the sweetness you know so only winter time i really got very nice uh dry down from it it's very beautiful fragrance syrupy sweet but i think other fragrances from this houses are the sm summer ones this jump is a summer one so those fragrances are pretty plenty good and different so definitely at least try it out because they are not that pricey and i believe they're a good option for summer and thing is uh, let me show you the presentation first. So this comes with this nice cap, very nice cap. I like this cap. It has uh, the logo, very nice sort of a cute logo. And it's kind of like, a, I think, metal, yeah? And then inside got blue, pretty nice. And it's a snug fit. You can pick it up, pretty nice. And then I like the color the color pattern of this. Ah. <laughs> All right, I like the color of this because it's pretty blue. It's like very dark blue. It says Yop Jump, very bold uh, font. And the thing is here, at the side it's like this a little bit curve here at the back as you can see the pattern very nice looking bottle and it's like a little bit waved you know curved at the side here this side it's curved right so it's not really a straightforward bottle all right bottom is like a little bit yeah all your sticker and design everything the batch code sorry so for this the box also somewhat like this so for me the presentation it's not mind-blowing but pretty uniform pretty pretty like confident all right so yeah also reminds me of Yopgo. It's like a little bit also curved at the side, but this juice color is much more beautiful. It's like really beautiful, green, soapy. So this fragrance, all right? Let me tell you the notes from Fragrant Ticket and I'll tell you what this one smells like and what it is. So thing is, this one was introduced, I think in 2005. I think it comes in uh, 50 ml and 100 ml. I think so, yeah, this is 100 ml juice. Yeah, it's not Yopom. Yopom is 125 ml, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this one is 125, but the rest of them are all 100. So this one was, um, I think, uh, done by Sophie Love, L-A-B-B-E, I don't know how you say that. So that's the perfume, eh? and it's classified as aromatic fougere. And uh, the notes are in this are rosemary, caraway, grapefruit on top. Middle notes are coriander, heliotrope, and base notes are tonka bean and musk, as well as vetiver. All right, so those are your... Uh, nose breakdown so why would you want to look at this fragrance okay this fragrance first of all is very unique all right if, if you haven't smelled anything from this house because there are three fragrances in this house which i found very very close to each other in terms of smell and they do remind you of some other fragrances all right but it's not really this is this will remind you of some other fragrances but not entirely you cannot pinpoint which fragrance it reminds you of sort of unique in that way second thing is you know if you're looking for summer you know it's all in all same one copying the other, uh, I mean Victor's Aqua, there is uh, now Versace, uh, Dylan Blue, and among the all of those, you know, you are looking for something new or something different to wear that others are not wearing. 
this is where I think this is a good fragrance, all right? It's not a mind-blowing fragrance, first of all. Not really. This is very, from the back in the days, it's not really new. And, but it's not very expensive as well. I think I paid, what, 25 US dollars or something like that. Pretty uh, affordable for a designer fragrance, you know, it's like for the house, you know. Uh, why I wanted to buy it is, first of all, the bottle is really amazing. It looks like a very nice, sometimes I think of it as like a shampoo bottle, but <laughs> this is glass, by the way. But it looks nice. Blue really looks nice, all right. And the jump is written green, so somewhat it's nice. So I have the fragrance in my hand. I sprayed it like 20 minutes ago. The dry down pretty much is a linear fragrance, okay? On the dry down, it's pretty linear. It doesn't have much transformation and whatnot. So it opens up a bit different, okay? Uh, first of all, it I, I get, I don't think I smell anything like it, like any, any other fragrances in the opening. The opening is so eye-catching, you know, like, not, not eye-catching, nose-catching. <laughs> Let me show you the sprayer, actually. Yeah, here I have pure energy. Oh, no, here is pure energy, here is empty, all right? So let's go. All right, let's go two sprays. I like the smell of this, yeah, really, because I think my friend, uh, Fragrance Matt, he talked about this, and I think Mark, I saw the two reviews, and I was convinced, you know. Mark didn't, re like, rate it very highly because his nose is much more refined. So yeah, on the opening, you get very, very beautiful, beautiful, bright grapefruit, beautiful blast of grapefruit, along with the caraway, and you feel that sort of spiciness, you think this is a bit of pepper cake there, but it's not really pepper. It has the sweetness, uh, the grapefruitness, the fruitiness, and a little bit of that caraway, you know, it gives you that kick, all right? Very nice opening, very bright, sort of like a fun, casual, you know? If you, if you smell this, you'll be like, okay, it's not that bad, but it's different, you know? You'll be like, I don't hate it. I don't really love it, maybe, but I don't hate it. So it passes the initial test of the initial sniff. Yeah. So I really wish the opening, it's, it's, it's a bit of soapy and then a bit of a fresh out of the shower smell as well. I really wish that that opening lasted a bit longer. Like Azarochrome Legend, I like the opening of that. That one lasts. With this one, the opening doesn't last. So the dry down is more or less what you're going to get for the rest of the fragrance life. So 15 minutes along the way of the initial spray, you're going to start smelling that dry down. And that's where the center stage will be taken by the heliotrope, the laurel. That's why it's aromatic fougier, right? Or yeah, yeah. So that floral note is going to carry on for a very long time, and I get very decent performance from this. It's it's not a very weak performing fragrance. It lasts on me very good, decent four hours, sometimes five hours, it depending on the condition. And I think outdoors also performs. You know, it, it lasts, so it has good longevity, decent longevity. It has a very unique opening as well as a dry down, and then it's a very different take on summer fragrance. That's where I like it. Yep, the sweetness is still there, but. With the time, you know, you kind of feel that there's some sort of saltiness, saltiness in this which is not mentioned, which is uh, like people talk about C notes. I get it from this, like Invictus, Origin Invictus. This Invictus is very sweet, trust me. This They have different scents, but there's a salty note in this which makes it like a little bit, you know, like aquatic. This one has it too. So it's not mentioned in Fragrantica. I get that saltiness somewhere. So imagine the salty grapefruit. That sort of uh, smell, the zinginess at the same time it mixes with that floral side without making it like a powdery scent like a, imagine there will be lavender this one doesn't have lavender so this is where it's different it's really different from this because this also is floral amped up floral it's a very girly kind of floral with the vanilla your cinnamon this one doesn't have those elements so you are safe you're good to go um, the dry down would be i think it's a bit more on the vetiver side bit of cedar i'm not quite sure it's cedar or what but uh, yeah and then tonka bean so sweetness carries on so pretty uniform after the 15 initial 15 minutes so uh, where where are you gonna be able to use this i think this will be great casual summer day fragrance okay and the thing is comparison with this and this i've told you before this one it's almost identical to this on the dry down so this two fragrance if you have one don't buy the other one and i would say depending on what you like you can buy that you know and this third fragrance I was about to buy from House of Yope, I think it's the older one, that is the Night Flight. So Night Flight and these th two smell pretty damn close. The Night Flight is a little bit more different. I like the smell of it, but they're very close to each other. I might get it sometimes, but not now. So the thing is, Go is a lighter version of Yope Jump. So if you like a little bit lighter, and this one feels like on the opening, a little bit tea, bit of a soapy, that sort of opening, but the dry down is sort of similar. So if you like it a bit lighter, in the office, you don't like it very heavy and very noticeable or a bit obvious. Go with Yop Go. 
this one will come if you're going outdoor see if you're going to play sports after the gym if you're going for gym excellence and how many sprays i think i'll go one two three four five five sprays with this okay and you can go shoot the two extra on your arms if you're in the hotter condition all right um this also can make a very good school scent if you are in the school like if you're university and you're on a budget but you want to try to get full 100 ml bottle from a good renowned company for summer this is a good 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 bargain all right and i'm not sure how much is going for in the world but it's pretty different that's where i think it shines so i like the smell really it has a soapy clean vibe also it has a clean fresh ladies will like it and i think there's somewhere alongside you know i get a feel of not exactly those are the two fragrances, but I'll show you. I get feel of these two fragrances in the other one, the Yum, David of Cool Water and Aqua. These obviously are much more popular than this. This, especially this, it's, it's, it's a very unique take. So this is a bit more sweeter and the water feel, the seaweed. This is a bit bitter water, you know, and the lavender. So I think the aspect of the Aqua takes a little bit of bitter side and a bit of a, I don't know, uniqueness. Jam reminds me of that. So, and also another fragrance, I get a little bit violet somewhere, which is also not mentioned. So, if you, if you sniffed uh, Rocky Mo Mountain Woods, like Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain Woods, this square hued, you 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 you'd get that feel of that fragrance in this as well. So it, it has it has elements of different fragrances that this one reminds you of. So overall, I think this is for all anyone can wear this. This is good for that sort of a uh, versatility. For season, you can wear this also in the winter. Not very intense winter, but Bangladesh kind of winters, which is like 2018. That one will be perfect. I used to wear a lot of this, you see, a little bit juice down, good good dent on this. I used all of it in the winter. And the hour winter, this morning walk, it lasted me the whole walk, even if you sweat it and whatnot. So it has good performance, solid performer. So longevity, I'll give this eight out of 10. Good, good longevity on this. Uh, projection, I think this one projects not very far, not very loud, but better than average. So I'll give this like 6.5. Smell of it for the uniqueness for in my whole collection, what I get from it. I often wear it. I often reach for it for casual purpose. I'll give this like a, let's say 7.5, all right? Uh, versatility, all year round you can wear it, but mostly better for summer. It has that feel of that old days, uh, different take on aquatics, that sort of a feel. So that's where you're not gonna find any fragrance like this in this today's market. Uh, compliments wise this is not doesn't smell like very formal fragrance so don't try to wear it with suits if you want absolutely can you can do whatever you want with your cologne but I would say uh, casual working days if you're spending five days a week definitely you can rock this on uh, and don't don't worry so much don't have to worry so much this is more more like a very uh, laid-back sort of a fragrance doesn't try to do much very uniform so yeah so overall mark I'm gonna give this as like counter car like Considering everything, what I get from this fragrance, I like it. I'm gonna give this eight out of ten. Why? Because it's 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 different. It's different. It's just different for summer, and it offers something else. And it's not very loud. It's not very obvious or head headache inducing. Perfect scent. All right. And for starters, you know, for those who are starting to get fragrance in your collection, you can give it a try because not many people are wearing this or own this. So you're gonna smell unique. So that's my review on Yob Jump. Do let me know what you think of this fragrance if you agree with me or don't agree with me what are your experiences with this and did i miss anything do let me know right so thanks for watching guys i'll talk to you soon have a nice day and i'm not i was not in the best of moods because of the recent attacks again in london it's just horrible you know don't know what's wrong with humanity all right guys i'm sorry about that i'll take talk to you soon and take care good night from dhaka